Hi everyone, this is John Trawbush from PolicyViz. Welcome back to demonstration video of this chart styles Excel add-in. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of the other uh, features in this in this tool. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to create some of these other chart types that we have built directly into this tool. So, uh, with the chart styles add-in installed, I have a new tab on my ribbon. I can go over to these data, for example. I might just click anywhere in here, and I can select. Uh, different types of charts, just like you could in the standard Excel charting engine, except now here I can actually have them customized to um, have them already directly styled according to my organization's uh, specifications. Now again, uh, if you've watched the previous video, you know that there are some options that we could change here. Maybe uh, I want to have a graph that could go on the website so it would have all the uh, titles and notes, but maybe I just want to have it for a report. So I'm going to change this one option here to put it in a report. And I'm going to again select my data and let's make a bar chart this time. And you can see in this case the difference between the two. This graph isn't going to create a, uh, add the logo or the text. That would be maybe in the Word document or in the text document that would be around this chart. And then I could save this graph out and install it directly or insert it directly into that Word document. Um, a couple other graphs that we've created here is sort of the default approach. We could have a uh, stacked area chart. And you can see again that it adds the basic stylings of the of the chart. Uh, that's um, the area chart. And here's another area chart. And we could also do a line chart with or without markers. Uh, I'll do a one with markers. And again, it's going to apply uh, all the styling, but not add all the text or the logo because I'm now creating a graphic for a report. So if you're interested in learning more about the add-in, please check out the next few videos where I'll demonstrate how to use the special charts and some of the other features of the add-in.